Safeguarding your SaaS app data is crucial. Commvault Cloud offers trusted data security protection for your SaaS app data, including Microsoft 365. It is purpose-built to enable cyber resilience in the hybrid world, providing the highest security, intelligence, and recovery speed. Protecting SaaS app data is your responsibility. Universally, the top cloud services such as Microsoft follow a shared responsibility model. The cloud service provider is responsible for their SaaS services infrastructure, availability, and performance. And you're responsible for the data entering, living in, and leaving the SaaS service. Commvault Cloud Backup and Recovery for Microsoft 365 delivers powerful enterprise-grade data protection with the simplicity of SaaS, proven to keep businesses of every size safe from deletion, corruption, and malicious attacks. Plus, comprehensive protection across entire data estates to safeguard Microsoft 365 plus on-prem, cloud, and SaaS workloads from a single pane of glass. With that, I'm going to have one of our sales engineers walk you through how it works, starting with the Commvault Cloud Service Catalog. Now, as you can see here via the Service Catalog, there are a lot of different workloads that Commvault can protect. And that's one thing I always emphasize is really the breadth of product support. Being around 27 plus years, it really allows Commvault, in my opinion, as a, a true engineering company in the cyber resilience and data protection space, to really, really focus on building out that portfolio that we support. So you can see here at a very high level, really incredible uh, in terms of the product scope that we, we support. However, for today's presentation, we want to dig in and focus on data protection for Office 365. Now, what I can say is for an organization that's looking to onboard and, and test or utilize this tool, you can be onboarded in terms of the configuration piece, in my opinion, in under an hour, right? How we approach that is by leveraging Microsoft apps that act as a connection between Commvault and your Microsoft environment, which happens to live in Azure. Now, one of the benefits that I haven't dug into in, in too much detail yet that organizations you know, benefit from when utilizing uh, data protection for Office 365 from Commvault is that when we talk about Commvault SaaS hosted infrastructure, right, the SaaS offering of Commvault, we actually live in Microsoft Azure. So the benefit here, since your data lives in Azure and our infrastructure lives in Azure, we have a huge benefit when it comes to, if you will, speeds and feeds for actually processing that backup. But then from a security perspective, the fact that we don't have to send data to the outside world, right, a huge benefit there. Now, that also is true when we talk about that actual configuration, because when I go in and look to backup exchange for the first time, I would create this Azure app that connects, as I note, your Office 365 environment to Commvault, right? And to do so is really straightforward. We would create a name for an app here and we would select sign in with Microsoft. So one of the huge benefits to this is that we are not going to store any of your Microsoft credentials. This is a redirect to your Microsoft environment. And all we're gonna require is a global admin authorizes, in this case, that Commvault app, to go in and utilize the services and API requests, right? To actually make that connection and process that backup. Again, can be configured between all four of these apps, right? In under an hour, start backing that data up. So for means of example here, just to be kind of cognizant of time, I'm gonna pivot over and just talk about restoration. But as I know, getting onboarded is, is pretty dang easy. Okay, so by selecting manage here, this allows me to go in and see, in this case, the applications that we've created that have facilitated that connection between Commvault and in this case, your uh, M365 or Office 365 environment. And what I wanna do is I wanna jump in and actually talk about what restoration looks like. Now, I'm going into this Exchange app. So I'm gonna talk about data protection or data restoration, excuse me, respective to Exchange, right? So when I go into one of these respective applications, we had some nice overview of backup stats, mailboxes, emails. But what's really critical is that I can actually go to my recovery point calendar here, go to a point in time that I want to restore from, and then actually see that critical data that I want to restore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump back a week. I'm going to select one of my restore points here, and I'm going to select restore. Now this will show me right, that state of that exchange environment based on when I process that backup. So I could go in here and say, go to say Michael Scott, drive into Michael Scott's inbox, 
select some critical data, and select restore. The intent of the tool is to be incredibly straightforward so that I can go in, select the data that I need to restore and restore that back into that respective environment, right? Now I can restore in place. I can also restore to another data location or restore that data to another location by providing the mailbox and folder here. Sometimes organizations will ask, well, can we export data? And absolutely we can do so. If we just want to grab data and export that utilizing the tool, we can do so. So at a very high level, right, I would say that this tool is very user driven, right? It's intended to be very straightforward, it allows an individual to go in, and this is from an admin perspective that I'm, I'm focusing on here, right? But allow an admin to go in, search for critical data that they would need to potentially restore and restore it as they wish. Also, just to note, if an organization gets that vague user request, right, that comes up uh, quite often, I can toggle here and say, show deleted items and just show data that had been deleted, in this case, maybe respective to Michael Scott, in that particular restore point, go and grab that data and restore that, in this case, for Michael Scott. So really, really useful in terms of you know, how the tool is built, addressing a lot of these common use cases we see in data protection for Office 365 today. Now, I think there's a few other things that I'd like to touch on respective to the tool before we jump back into uh, the conversation. One thing I think that is, is important to note is that you know I showed data protection and restoration respective to Exchange. To be cognizant of time, I don't think it would be prudent to jump into all of these applications one by one, but I want to emphasize that you have, in licensing with Commvault, restoration capabilities and data protection capabilities for all of these facets of Office 365, be it SharePoint, be it Teams, be it OneDrive, right? So I wanna make sure I'm emphasizing that point because it's critical. It comes up a lot when I'm actually showing this tool out to customers, but other things that I think would be valuable just to note before we kind of shift gears is to emphasize that oftentimes organizations require a self-service restoration aspect of this tool. I wanna to be really clear that we do have that functionality baked in. So we have very robust RBAC, role-based access control functionality woven into the tool. And what I can do here is actually add users in, be it users that actually own that respective mailbox and enable self-service restoration for them so that at any time, should you configure it this way, that individual can actually go and restore that critical data that they may have inadvertently deleted. So really important there because it's just such a common use case that we see respective to data protection for Office 365. And I think I'll leave here with one last kind of valuable valuable piece of the puzzle, as it were, when we talk about uh, data protection for Office 365. Oftentimes organizations require a type of e-discovery or compliance search woven into their data protection tool for Office 365. I do wanna emphasize that we have that functionality baked in as well. If I select e-discovery here and hop over to compliance search, this allows for me to search on a globally indexed backup, if you will. So in this case, not respective to the restore point that we were discussing earlier, but globally, anything respective to Michael Scott, I can now go in and search for, I can go in and grab, in this case, X amount of email items. I can tag them as query sets. I can save them as export sets, and I can export that data out to PST or CAB right, to really address a lot of the considerations and requirements around e-discovery and compliance search. So at this point, I'll pause. We've covered a lot of, I think, really important ground in the tool, but just enough, I think, to kind of show what the power is of the tool and really, in my opinion, kind of queue up for a longer discussion and possibly a longer demonstration. Thanks. Thank you. That covers an overview of the granular restores you can perform for Exchange, SharePoint, OneDrive, and Teams. To see more, create your free 30-day account today or request a demo from our team.